And so right at the beginning, we went in and we checked into what is, what is my autonomic state? Where am I on the ladder? And what is my system responding to? So you could even run kind of a little recording through your mind of the different people who shared and what they were saying or how you were responding, or maybe as an overall, let's just take a minute to notice what's, what you're responding to and what your body wants to do, what kind of short story you're making up, <laughs> what's in your mind about this. And notice your breath, notice how you feel. And one of the things that's really helpful is to not judge ourselves for what our autonomic responses are, because they're not voluntary and they don't say anything good or bad about us. They're just how our nervous system's reacting. So everybody has this capacity. And one of the things that we're noticing as we're doing these mindfulness practices around are we shut down are we in fight or flight are we in that trust connecting kind of safer zone so everybody has that capacity and we know that in our head uh, yeah of course i do I, I remember times when i felt like that but it's good to tune into that and part of this is like what rick hansen talks about we need to keep noticing the good Otherwise, it kind of disappears and it doesn't have any effect in our brain. So our neural networks, our neural pathways are very much affected by our attention. So it's good to tune into that. Everybody has this capacity to be open hearted, trusting and connected and compassionate. We all have that capacity. So the next, you know, 20 minutes or so, I wanted to work first with fear in the sense of this is what interferes with connection and trust. And so Gabor Mate, that's such a lovely picture of him. He, he looks right into the camera. He's connected, a little smile. And he talks about, and I've said this quote so many times, the effect of trauma is that we disconnect from ourselves, the present moment, and our sense of value. And that, that one thing has, has really helped me understand so clearly how to come back from trauma, how to heal from trauma, is that we need to find ways to connect again. And doing this work is a big foundation for that. So if you were to just right now, you could either bring up a memory or just kind of sit with this knowing, is this fear or mistrust or disconnection that I experience in my life these days? So whether it's this moment or the last few years or whatever it is, is my fear, mistrust and disconnection really based on what's happening now? And some of it will be or how much of it is from when I was small. So when we look at children, they don't have much power. We're really at the mercy of the adults around us. So there's no question that we're still hurt by people. But there are still things to worry about. And that this lands on a childhood when there was a lot of fear and people weren't necessarily trustworthy. So acknowledging this and soothing the fear is what we need to do in order to come back into self-regulation. So as we're self-regulating or down-regulating or co-regulating with each other, we move back into that state of trust and connection. So just notice if you can feel or sense into that. Come back to remembering when you felt safe, when you felt connected. And it might've been when you first came into the group and you saw all those pictures and names of people that you know. If your experience in this group is that you're safe, that nobody's gonna shame you, it's safe to say truthfully what's going on, that people will meet you there, acknowledge you, then then that creates that, that state of self-regulation and co-regulation. We come back into that feeling of connection. So notice your body as you're looking at that picture or thinking about that. Acknowledging and soothing the fear 
is the first step. This is a practice from Thich Nhat Hanh. So I'll say these sentences out kind of slowly. So you could close your eyes if you want. We'll take a couple of minutes for this. And just let them land. Not so much to think about them, but more to land in your body. And the mindfulness component of this is that we're paying attention to our response. So he starts by saying, dear little child, I am your adult self. I would like to tell you that we are no longer a baby, helpless and vulnerable. We have grown up into an adult already. We are no longer a baby, helpless and vulnerable. We've grown up into an adult. You may have an image of yourself at a certain age. You might not have any images. You might just be kind of sitting with it. It's nice sometimes to sit with our attention in the heart center when we're doing this. But however it is that's coming up for you, dear little child, we're no longer a baby. We're an adult now. We have enough intelligence to protect ourselves and to survive by ourselves. We're an adult now. And I am your adult self. We have strong hands and strong feet. We can very well defend ourselves. There's no reason to continue being fearful. And we don't need someone else to take care of us like a child. We're no longer helpless and vulnerable. We're an adult now. We're intelligent, resilient. We can take care of ourselves. And I am your adult self. I can take care of you. I'm paying attention. You're not alone anymore. I'm here. And then if you opened your eyes to look into that set of eyes on the screen or close your eyes and look into a vision or however you want to work with this, breathing in, I see myself as a five-year-old child. And breathing out, I smile to that five-year-old child. And let's do this for several breaths. Breathing in, I see myself as a five-year-old child. Breathing out, I smile to that five-year-old child. And if there's another age that makes more sense to you, just go ahead, let yourself do whatever's coming up.
Notice your body and your breath. Breathing out, I smile to that child. And then let's come back into noticing what is your autonomic state right now? Where are you on the ladder? What is your system responding to? What does your body want to do? And what are your thoughts about it right now? And give yourself complete permission to have whatever experience you're having. You don't have to be feeling open-hearted and connected to your child. If you are, that's great. If you're not, that's great too. We're just being present and noticing what's here. Now let's recall a, a feeling of connection and warm-heartedness. And when we look at this picture, this mom and baby are really clearly connected. There's such a look of love and delight and connection on that baby's face. They're touching, they're leaning in together, they're smiling. So you could look at that or you could bring up a memory of your own or just to sit with it. So who and where first? If, you, if you're recalling a feeling of being warm hearted, connected, is it with a person? Is it our nature? Is it with a pet? And bring up that memory. And then if you're visual, really look at the look on their face, look into their eyes. Or look at that baby looking up at her mom. Notice tone of voice in your memory. Are there any words? What's the facial expression, gestures? If you're recalling being with someone, are you connected with them? Are you leaning in, touching? And use all of your senses, sound, aromas, what's in your surroundings. Now we're going to do this for about three minutes. So you have lots of time. So let it kind of develop in your mind and body, this memory that you're working with. As you're doing that, you could zero in or really connect with what specifically invites connection. For you, is it a sense of touch, your voice? What is it specifically in this memory that makes you feel connected and that sends these cues of safety to your nervous system? We're really focusing on one thing. Real life relationships are often more complicated, but we're just taking a one moment in time and pausing there at a time when we felt connected. There might have been joy, happiness, love. There's a connection and a trust there and our nervous systems were settled.
Let yourself really sink into that experience with all of your senses. Notice your body, your breath as well. And if you want, you could come back to that picture and just kind of notice what's happening in the picture. The cues that that baby and the mom are giving to each other. And then let's come back to the ladder. What is your state, autonomic state right now? What's your system responding to? What does your body want to do? We notice that this isn't random. Our state is affected by our experiences, and we're doing a series of little experimental experiences. And we're noticing how it affects us. And someone might have gone into that and had a real um, triggering memory come up and felt really disconnected. And that might be what's going on. Or you might have just kind of sunk right into that and, and had that connected, loving, kind of warm feeling. And now you're feeling that in your nervous system. So we're not making it right or wrong. We're really just noticing what's here. Where am I on that ladder? And now we're going to kind of move to the next experience. So if you could, if you wanna have your, put your camera on and pin your video so that you can see your own eyes or just close your eyes and imagine that you're looking into your own eyes. Or you could just put your hands on your heart and say it internally. I love you. I support you. I'm on your side. And sometimes this isn't simple. There can be a lot of complicated reactions to that. Just stay with your body and your breath. I love you, I support you, I'm on your side, I'm on my own side. So if the mind creates a bunch of rebuttal, well, that's not true. Ask it to move to the background for a minute. What we're really doing is doing an experiment Imagining that this is completely true. We look into our own eyes, in our mind or on the camera. I love you. I support you. I'm on your side. And then with your hand on your heart or both hands, offer yourself the warmth of your own care. Feel the warmth of your hand, the pressure, the support. Notice how your body's breathing. Relax your body, shoulders, forehead, jaw. 
Take a few breaths. Notice how you could support and comfort yourself. And particularly if anything got stirred up with any of your child self at different ages, you come back to that. I'm your adult self and I can support and care for us. We're not vulnerable and helpless. We're not a child anymore. We're an adult. Let yourself really feel the warmth of your own caring. And again, notice your autonomic state. You could keep your hand on your heart if you want, just to notice what do you feel like now? Are you at the bottom of the ladder in overwhelm? Are you in the middle, fight or flight? Are you at the top? I feel connected to the greater world. And in particular, I feel connected to myself. I'm really here and present with myself. Everyone has this capacity to be open-hearted, trusting, connected. We can be patient and kind with ourselves, compassionate with ourselves and each other. We all have this capacity to experience this ventral vagal state of connection. So review mentally the experience coming in again to when we first got together at the beginning of the class and you checked in with your system. And maybe any, anything you noticed in particular as people were sharing or if you were sharing. Some people talked about being in fight or flight or in freeze or angry or different things. And what did that trigger in you, if anything? And then we went into the practice. We had a variety of different experiences. We looked at fear. We looked at Thich Nhat Hanh's practice of being aware on the inhale of our child and smiling as we breathe out. We looked in our own eyes. We had a number of experiences. So just notice what was your experience as you moved through the last 20 or 30 minutes in particular. And notice what's going on in your body now. Do you want to move your body? Are you kind of still in your head, still in your heart? Where are you on the ladder now? We're gonna come back to the group here. But just to continue to notice what the effect is of these experiences that were kind of generated artificially in a way. But notice how you feel, what's your felt experience? 